second side. Easy good, huh? Easy everybody. I will start this stream in a little while. Is this the chat? If you can make the background. Is this the chat? Oh, I can make that. Uh, oh, I see. Oh, that's the chat there. Ah. Is that okay like that? Or should I change it? So easy, everybody. We're going to start listening to some demos in a minute. This is Scar Tips, new tune. Just released by one more thing. Okay, so I see that chat there. I'm going to try and change that a little bit. Chat. There we go. Is that better? Maybe. I think when that fills up, that'll be all right. Hello, Sonics. So a few people getting involved. Everything is definitely work in progress. So I think I'm going to leave that like that. Show you my hand. There we go. I think we're ready to go. Yeah, let's leave it for that. We've got the chat up and running. Cut on my levels, okay. Cool. I've got the spreadsheet open as well, Mr. Gooder, as well. So, are the levels okay? Anybody watching, can you tell me if my volume is all right? And the volume of the tune. Hello, Judah K. How are you doing? Okay, we've got a few people now. It says Twitch stats, but there's only two. Do you know what? I think I'm going to put that somewhere else that's going to bother me. Doesn't matter how many people are watching. Levels are good. Headphones are low. Prices are high. Times are hard. Thrills are cheap. Um, yes, Judah K. It is almost the weekend, but I'm still recovering from last weekend, the last week at Center Base. Not in a kind of recovery type of way. <laughs> in a shit, I have a lot of work to catch up on since I've been working away type of way. So I'm going to let this tune play. This is Scar Tip. This isn't a demo. This isn't unsigned. This is released by one more thing. I would be mad not to share a little thing in the chats. Where are we? Fuck knows. Maybe I'll just put the, this here. Ah, okay. I'll put this in the chat. So this is the new release on One More Thing. My main man, Scar Tip. Ah, uh, yes, go on. Big up the programmer as well. It's got quite a few of you now. It says there's only two viewers of these Twitch stats. I'm gonna turn that off. Because that's gonna bother me. Or oh, can we work on oh, that? Oh, right, oh, no. <laughs> I was reading an old one. Right, okay. You're seeing, everybody's seeing. It says eight. No, it's some stats that I've got. Hello, sounds that bad as well? We have just spoken on email not long ago. Okay, eight of you are watching. I literally, I want this to play out because Spotify doesn't include it as a play unless it plays for the entire thing. So um, you are gonna have to listen to this very lovely outro. Like I said on um, Vision Radio, um, that it's like a fairy tale in the form of a song, like a proper Brothers Grimm fairy tale, a type of one where witches eat children and giants throw humans around and all that type of weird, medieval type of shit. Right, good to says ignore the numbers. Damn right. Now, what are we going to do? I'm going to do this in order. Um, we have got how many demos? We've got 32 submissions. Um, I put the ones, if you've already had a track listened to and responded to by me, they are towards the bottom of the list, so they might not make it onto the show. I'm going to be totally honest. We've got some mad names as well. Next oh, hold well on a minute. Blue skies. <laughs> There we go. Proof that I don't pay for my Spotify. <laughs> um, right, cool. I think we are going to go on to that bad straight away. So I've got it here. I've got them all. This there's not going to be any fannying around now. I think Gooder is going to share the SoundCloud and stuff like that. So this is that bad. And here we go. The track is called "Living Body Bag." And um, that bad. Ooh, that bad. 
I can't see there's no tracks on your SoundCloud. I wonder where you're from. I can see you in the chat. So tell us. Tell us about yourself. I'm listen. The next morning, I read the stories of the brutal murder of the two police officers. I also read the witness's statement about the bullets having no effect on the killer. I felt sorry for the witness, and I thought about how easily a person's mind can become confused when suddenly they receive a brutal shot. I've got a different idea. This doesn't sound bad, this sounds good. Get the body out. Yeah. So we got that bad. This is that bad. He's in the chat. They're in the chat. Really sorry, I made an assumption that you were a chap that bad, so please, either email me, let us know a little bit more about you. And um, yeah, it sounds like you've had another Italy. You're from Italy. Um, I had a bit of a rebrand. Okay, interesting. And had some releases as well. On NSD, was that? Do you know what I was going to say? I can hear a dubstep influence in that kind of bass. Right. This is really interesting. There's a lot going on. Let's see what happens now with this payoff. Does that need more of a kind of snap? Like, does that need more of a slappy kind of impact when that kicks in? Yeah. So that's super interesting. I'm going to turn that down now while I'm talking. Still super loud in my ear. Um, the bass line sounds like it needs a little bit of taming. The bass line sounds like it's a little bit too scrappy. But there's shit loads going on in this. Is that a laugh or a cry? It's a dark sample. Like, obviously, we started with the sample on killing police officers and what have you. Or murdered police officers. Yeah. Um, right, uh, there are people um, in the chat here. I'm going to come back with some more feedback that bad. So, have any of last week's unplayed submissions making it into this week? Yes, they are. Um, Subversed. I think I played one of yours last week, didn't I? Remind me in the chat, and if I didn't, um, I will um, bring that up. But what I've done is I've gone from the last entry from where we did um but there were a couple actually you didn't make it on because i pushed a few forward who were all in the chat so i think we've got everything that came in from before so this i'm i'm almost <laughs> I, you'll have to remind me because my memory's so bad and so much has happened since the last day demo drop um you'll have to remind me if we did play your tune or not maybe we can have a little look on the youtube upload because the full track list is on there but i'm trying to listen to absolutely everything so that bad um yeah the drums do something really interesting. I like the way that they don't do what I would expect them to do. I think the bass needs a little bit more taming. It feels like it's kind of bleeding over a little bit and isn't sitting in its place. Um, and that on the build-up, when there was the impact, when you got the payoff on that kind of second drop, I felt like it needed more of a snap. It needed more of a kind of feeling like there wasn't that kind of real pow, like that energy of what a kickoff should do when you've got that second drop. But that's wicked. That track was called Living Body Bag. And now we're going to go straight on to Got This. So this is an artist called Got This. The track is called End Game. God, we're, we're into some kind of bleak, apocalyptic, dramatic titles. So this is End Game, Got This. Um, and let's press play. I'm going to turn the volume back up as well. Here we go. 
let me know if everything is okay. Big up Gooder for sending out the SoundCloud links. Follow, support all of these people that you're hearing. We've got some pretty big names as well. Um, and yeah, big up, sounds that bad. Subverse, our oh, subverse, a dubstep. Right, hold on. Yes, play the dubstep tune. Right, okay. So there was another tune from you, Subverse. I will add that to the spreadsheet. And it's not today. Just I want to support as many people as possible. We'll definitely, definitely listen to that in the next show. I'll make a note of that as well. Um, Oh, okay. That's cool. I like that energy. Yeah. And that's really interesting. Um, Because it wasn't doing what I was expecting it to do again. Anything that subverses any type of expectations is wicked. I'm just following everybody who I'm bringing up there. Definitely following. So got this is from Latvia. It was really interesting. It's kind of got that dance floor energy, but it's also got that kind of double time kind of energy as well. It's got, it's a little bit taken from that kind of new neuro sound, that emotional kind of sound. Let's see where it goes. Yeah, Subverse is talking about angelic overtones. I like them. And I I guess, I guess those type of vocals you'd find on a sample pack. Ooh, okay. If this was a film, this would be the bit where the chips are down and our protagonist is looking for solutions. You know they're gonna find it. You know there's gonna be another twist in the tail. You're not quite sure where it's gonna go. You're hoping for a happy ending. Yeah. It's kind of just gradually rising. Gradually rising. This is interesting. <laughs> There's a lot of love for happy endings in the chat there. There we go. Hello, Analog Future Music. Big vibes. Definitely huge, humongous vibes. Elephantine vibes. Monolithic. <laughs> Gargantuan. Are we going to see a return of that type of bass line? Or was that, or was that part of the other, you know, the other half of that track? I think this might be the end. Not, not the end of everything, not the end of the stream or the end of time. So this is really interesting. This is almost like a second track. This is almost, this seems like another idea compared to where we were at. Let's just have a little listen again. Let's just skip back now. Okay, so we've got the pads. The pads are the consistency. The chords are the consistency. And then we've got all of this bit. Then we go into this dreamy bit. We've got that halftime bit. And then we go into like a good, a minute long outro there, really. That's really interesting. That comes from like the likes of Caracol Project and Manu and Bunshin and all those groovy cats are doing really interesting things with arrangements at the moment, which aren't DJ friendly, which I love because loop buttons exist, hot cues exist. Like if you can't get out of a strange tune, then you don't know how to use the technology. This is an argument I had with a really well-known pioneer. It wasn't an argument, it was a discussion. Um, but I'd say we definitely come from different ends of the spectrum. Um, that, that pioneer is DJ Storm. She hates loops and stuff like that. Once the tunes play out, feels that the musician should be respected for the full duration of the tune, which I completely, completely respect. But I think modern DJing, and DJing for me was always creating that third new tune, that remix, that live remix, and doing loops 
has been a godsend, really, especially with shorter tracks. So I think um, Endgame is really, really interesting. And I actually think it's two tracks. I think you've got two solid ideas there, but I like how you've put them together. I would actually like to see that energetic bass line come back in the second part of that track. But maybe you've got it like that, so somebody might actually play the full track because people often switch out and stuff. Production on it is great. Everything kind of sits where it should sit. That sounds great on my headphones. Really interesting. I'm giving you a follow. That's got this from Latvia. So, yeah, right, okay. Where are we coming from now? Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Well, okay, right, we've got Near Edge. Near Edge. Near Edge is relatively known to me in that we've run a premiere of his. So this track is called Annihilation. Um, I think Near Edge might be Australian. Yeah, from Perth. We have, we've we've run, like, there's an inter short interview with him by Annalise, I think, on the website. Uh, it did something on, um, oh, Beats for Mind. It's Pixis's label, and the name is completely escaping me. But anyway, really nice, dreamy stuff by the sounds of things. I shall shut up for a moment. Great to see that chat kind of building up. This is really cool. And I've got the stream elements there, which is indeed shouting about my Patreon. The one more thing, Patreon. Literally the only thing that pays some money to this platform at the moment. Yeah. And indeed, yeah. This is, I'm liking this. Hello, IV, DMB. You've sent through a demo. You're definitely on the spreadsheet. Okay, where's this going? Ooh. This needs more bite. This needs more bite. Yes, damage man. Oh, I want this to kick more. I need more. I, there's something. This is missing something. Unless it's coming now. This needs a solid kick. This needs a crunch. This needs a punch. Yeah. Somebody else, Ivy, saying it needs a smack in the drum. Yeah. Like this, they, this has got so much potential. This type of tune coming on in the dance, this type of tune would maybe be like this. But yeah, I mean, I've got really, really nice headphones. I'm trying to listen here. We definitely need more kick here. <laughs> the bass line is unruly. It's unapologetic. <laughs> yeah, really interesting. This is super interesting. I think it needs it needs more on the drums, but that bass line and the arrangement is is on. Like, don't worry about that. Now get your levels up with the drums. Get something that really absolutely shatters like look at like some of the stuff that Benny L is releasing on Trez to be um, especially the Amen kind of related stuff something sharp happening but yeah like so Ivy DMB is saying it's got that fundamental in the bass happening now I've asked members of Noisia what a fundamental is I know fundamentally what fundamental means but I don't within the kind of um, within the vernacular of producers so perhaps Ah, right, okay, some gaps. So Subverse is saying some gaps in the bass line would help it too. I do wonder if a 4-4 is the answer to something like this, like the controversial 4-4. I am a fan. Let's see where this goes. Come along now. Yeah, we're, we're missing something there. But 
you definitely without a shadow of a doubt on the right track there like that's so that is an idea worth of exploring some ideas are worth just for the process alone you might learn something you might grab a good idea you might get inspired in a different way uh the process is the most important part of anything whether you're doing what i do whether you're doing what you awesome talented producers do um but yeah there's uh there's definitely i think we need more drums on that something with more bite uh, but um, please, Mr. Near Edge, I can't remember your actual name now. We are connected. I'm really sorry. Feels weird calling you by your name. But I don't know your real name. So Mr. Near Edge is going to do. Come back to us with that. Keep me up to date with that. I think that's wicked. And it's got loads and loads of potential. And it definitely had me interested. So here we go. Right. Okay. Here's a name which makes me smile. Because the last time I seen it, it was when I announced it on Vision. And I made a stupid pun. Because it's Betty. Um, and I made something along the lines of being in bed. Um, there was it's a whole convoluted thing. I can't be bothered to explain it. You'll have to ask someone from Yamatai Records because he will understand. Uh, right, this is called right now. It's probably cool, yeah. Because right, let's have a little look on the chat now. Who writes yeah as Y E? Because I write yeah as in Y E A A H. Can't even spell yeah now. But a lot of people, my daughter as well, spells, yeah, just Y-E. But that, to me, looks like cool ye, like <laughs> Shakespeare business. Um, so this is Betty, cool ye, or cool yeah. Looking very cool with your moustache in a subway tunnel there on your SoundCloud. Let's go. <laughs> Big up, good uh, closet Kanye fan. Yeah. This sounds like it's going to be dubstep. Yes. Ah, oh, downloads not enabled. Ready? Are you in the chat? Yeah. This is my favorite so far. I'm writing that down. This fucking stinks. I've really enjoyed everything so far. This is something I would play. Yeah. Big up Tonton Music, big up the programmer, big up IV. IV saying it's quality production, 100%. This is ready to go. Yeah, nice little twist. Yeah. My laptop makes noises like this after I've been editing videos, doing tunes, doing this, doing that on it for 12 hours a day. At the end of the day, this is how it tells me it's fucked. This is great. Lots of space. Seems to be a lot of appreciation for this in chat as well. Wicked. Yeah, ice cold, ice cold. So I'll take the opportunity to tell a stupid pun. The previous week on Vision Radio, I'd announced the Reedy tune, and then the following week was Beddy. Or maybe it was the other way around, maybe it was Beddy, and then it was Reedy, yeah, because what do you do when you go to bed? Sometimes, if you haven't got company, or you're not just going straight to sleep. Might do a bit of reading. Nobody's doing any reading when music like this is playing, no? Yeah. <laughs> Indeedy. <laughs> I love these kind of breakbeats that have kind of subtly made their way in as well now. We've gone from dubstep to a kind of a bit more of a swing. Right, Betty. I know your name is Kane from the email. This is Kane following you back. I, this this is this is the type of sound that I like No Dave to have on his USB. I'm talking about myself in a third person, I'm an absolute wanker. This is the type of sound I put on my USB. I'm talking about No Dave as if he's some other person. Shitting hell. Yeah. Exceptional, exceptional. (laughs) 
brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. I'm really, really feeling that. So obviously there's the SoundCloud in the chat. That is amazing. Okay, so the next one, all uh, right, it's in a Google Drive in my inbox. Do you know what? Let us go down the queue a tiny bit to... Who else? We're going to go to Ivy because he's here. He's active in the chat. There we go. Um, and I quite like it when I know that people have come in um, onto the chat. They've come onto stream. You've made the effort. You've sent me the tune. So, yeah, I'm at Ivy there. I'm feeding back loads on the track as well. So to everybody who's got their demos, it's not just me feeding back. It's the entire community of viewers watching, um, who most of whom have so, uh, submitted stuff as well. I absolutely love this. This has taken off a lot better than I thought it would. It was a random idea. I've seen other people do it. When Skibbity was doing it all of the time on lockdown, but with breakfast and with chat and with his Skibbity-ness. So it's not a new idea, but um, I really like hearing brand new raw ideas. We've got brand new raw ideas as well from like loads of people who... People People will know, like we had Damage Man last week. Might have something new from him today if we've got time. Uh, we've also got Goozy. Goozy sent me a demo, like Mastering Don, head of GZ Audio. Like, you know, so we've got we've got some big, big artists as well as aspiring and emergent artists. This is Ivy. And I'm gonna press play, it's called a drift. Come back to me. Like the old school vibes on this. That's okay, Ivy. I'm always showing my age. Just by being on camera and talking nonsense in my croaky way and my wrinkly face. I bet you I'm older than you. I bet you I'm the oldest here. Ooh. Why am I trying to turn this into an age competition when I should be shocking out to this? That. Yeah. Yeah. There's a coldness. There's space. I really like that bass line. Nice bit of trumpet. Yeah. Yeah. Analog future music saying stinker there. Sonic. I am 22 times 2 plus 2 in one week. <laughs> there we go. Quick maths. <laughs> but I act like a 22 year old. Most of the time I act like a 2 year old. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Come back to me. Yeah. And actually, speaking about my birthday, on the 25th of September, 9 pm. Been me and Star Tip shooting the shit for a couple of hours, having a drink for my birthday and having a drink for his EP. His EP is out. Amorphous is the first track that's out now. I should not be promoting one more thing releases while I'm listening to other people's music. This is wicked. This uh, is the download enabled on this. Yes, it is. Barrel and a follow as well. This is Ivy, everybody. Ivy is called Doug. Oh, he's from Harlow. Okay, cool. Ray Keith Country, I believe. Essex, isn't it? Was that Harrow? No, that is, it is Harlow. I've been there, I've been to a gym there. Man. I'm full of really useless, useless, useless facts. There's a church in Harlow, and um, that was on the cover of a Chemical Brothers mixtape. Brothers gonna work it out. It's amazing, amazing mix CD. And I believe now it's just had like heritage status. Oh right, okay, Sonic is from Essex as well. I spent quite a lot of time driving back and forth to Essex. One of my good mates lives in Colchester. This is wicked. This has got some really timeless flavours. Yeah, I would play this. I play a lot of warm-up sets. I like going from deep to hard. I like having a bit of space, a bit of dynamic. All those drums, that kind of jazziness. This is exceptional. So this is IV. Oh, cool. Right, it's been on 24 Carat, Aloisa, the drum pusher. Some great labels there, Colab as well. Obviously that being Heist, Essex Connection. Yeah. Super smooth, super smooth. Right, 
And while this is playing out, I'm going to download. Uh, right, okay. So I'm in my inbox now. Analog Futures, I've seen you come into the chat. So I've seen you send over demos. We'll add them to the spreadsheet definitely for the next show. I think there's going to be a little rollover. I have to start pretty much bang on eight today. But that's still another hour. No, Gooder, I absolutely love you highlighting the sheets. Spreadsheets and I have a very strange relationship. I hate them and they hate me. So wounded, here we go. Wounded, whatever, wounded healers, they're gonna be next. Oh, okay, right, and it's time. So there we go. I'm gonna stop that now, just after a little, uh, we wanna hear one more little trumpet blast. There we go, there's a faint one in the background there. Uh, amazing, absolutely amazing IV. I'm going to make a note of that as well, alongside Beardy as well as tracks. Oh, Beardy, I couldn't download, could I? And I'm playing a studio set with someone. Friday, 12 o'clock, there might well be a live stream with myself and Wawa going back to back uh, from a really fancy studio on Friday, if I can get it all to work. Anyway, we've got Wounded Healers. They've given me three tracks and you guys can help me pick. So we've got No Love Remix. We've got um hero and we've got sound boy um right so okay yeah so um no love remix hero or sound boy first person to say one of those names in the chat will be deciding which one we listen to wound um hero there we go thank you very much hash there we are right okay so it says amiga nebula hero extended drop um, so I'm not too sure. It's Wounded Healers. They're from Cardiff and they made an effort to tell me that they're from Cardiff and the intro of their email, knowing that I'm a Welsh person myself. So hopefully now this should come through because this is playing. Is that coming through? Yes, it is. There we go. Big up, Gooder. Ooh. Kind of getting those prodigy vibes on that intro there. Hello. I really like the way that bass line came in and it switched into a dance floor thing. That was interesting. Yeah. Do you know what? Those vocals and that intro reminded me of Freestylers. Uh, right about the time they were doing stuff for Million Dan. Lots of love for this one in the chat. This is wicked. So I just want to check Omega Nebula. This could well be a remix or something like that. Um, Right, yeah. Okay, Omega Nebula. Oh, it's also a star. Okay. I'm going to put this in the chat. There we go. That's fantastic. 
That's a proper song. Bang. Done in three minutes there. So it's a remix. I've just put up the original act there. Amiga Nebula, uh, a Jamaican act by the looks of things. Um, I'll have to excuse my ignorance on that. But um, the Wounded Healers are from Cardiff. It says they're um, a hip-hop and drum and bass duo from Cardiff. That's a really crisp remix. Like Everything sat in the right place there. Those vocals were really big and wide, but sat right on top of the mix without compromising any of the bass dynamics or anything like that. The intro was interesting. Like I said, it reminded me of a freestylist tune as well. Yeah, so that was called Hero. Amiga Nebula was the original, and um, Wounded Heat is on the remix. So we've got CPTR here now. Here we go. Let's just bring that up. I should have really saved the track titles. Oh, 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 oh. Right, okay, time for you to all get involved. Um, we've got some track titles. There's four tracks here. We've got Athlete Sweat, <laughs> Attic Fever. I'm sitting in my attic. I get Attic Fever every fucking day. Twinned or Beam Bye Bye. Okay, wow. Maybe we should have, like, if I'd have actually looked at the track titles, maybe this would have been the end one. And we'll be beaming bye-bye until next time. Man. I'm a cheesy motherfucker. Um, so tell me, tell me what you want. Athlete Sweat, Attic Fever, Twinned, or Beam Bye-Bye. They are all cool names, aren't they, Hash? Like, I, I, I kind of go in with Attic Fever um, because that's what I get. So I think nobody nobody has come through with any other suggestions. So you're all too, you snooze, you lose. Hey, Depro coming in with Attic Fever. That's where we're going. So this is CPTR. Here we go. Ah, oh, right, okay, from Germany. Did we play any CPTR last time? Leipzig, he's from, or Leipzig. I always get that wrong. And I know some people from there, and I should really get it right. This sounds like a very cool part of uh, Germany. No, we didn't play any. Okay, I'm just going to take your word for that, good. Eh? Okay, I like these beats. Looking very cheeky in his artist picture on the SoundCloud. Hello. Hey. Yeah. And there's a, there's a lot of kind of there's clarity in everything here. And I'm not a producer, but I know when I can hear kind of clarity, when I know the bits that I'm supposed to be hearing and how they kind of all sit in the in the mix, as it were. <laughs> we got Ivy saying fuck off. Brilliant. Yeah, Hash is saying go on as well. This is great. Yeah. And if you give him a follow and you have a little look at his picture, a little bit like that kind of, um, that meme that went around with uh, Blade Runner, where it's like Blade Runner looks like the type of person who's seen your porn history, but he's not going to say anything and he'll never tell anyone. Looks like this guy has kind of seen your porn history as well. All right, okay. Stream Elements is also saying fuck off. This must be a gooder thing because I don't think I programmed it to say that. Can a bot say fuck off? <laughs> Brilliant. Go on. Ivy is burning his dinner to this. Excellent. It's the quiet bit. It's the bit when the DJ doesn't really know what to do when they're mixing and they want to bring in the tune and they're going to wait. Kind of standing there looking at your phone. Avoiding eye contact with everybody in the dance floor. Maybe that's just me. <laughs> yeah. Earlier on I was talking about the snap, and that had the snap. The snap game with the sound, it's like an alert, like bang. Yeah. This is great. I think he's saying it's a work in progress. I wouldn't do too much more with this. I wouldn't overwork this. This is great. This is something, this is a great, like, like you could mix stuff with this, you could have this rolling with other stuff. This is great, yeah. So that's CPTR. Can I download it? Yes, I jolly well can. There we go, a download and a follow. Yeah. 
It's that DeLorean that you just put on the track there, the programmer. I see a DeLorean. I can't. Oh, there you go. It's a DeLorean there. I'm not bringing it up to the camera though. I'm pretty conscious of how my belly is showing on the camera anyway. Uh, it's a Lamborghini. All oh, right. There we go. I can't tell my difference between my Lamborghinis and my DeLoreans. Apologies to all petrol heads, but you are ruining the planet. <laughs> I'm just slagging off everybody who's got cars. I've got fucking two cars. Uh, my family has two cars, I should say. Right, okay. We are going to listen to High Status now. Uh, they are known to me. They're from Belgium. Um, and there is Marge, the vocalist as well. Um, they've well, There's a lot of affiliations with Abyssal. Uh, one of our team is from Belgium and we obviously we did stuff with Rampage as well this year so there's a lot of connection I feel a Belgian connection at the moment so we're going to do this one now this is called Distant Voices so it's like hello there you go that's a distant voice my voice has been sounding quite decent, distant anyway because it's um, croaky as fuck <laughs> from Sun and Bass right so here we go I don't like here's a little piece of advice and I see a lot of other people slagging it off as well Google Drive Google Drive can really fuck off like I've got pre I press play we knew it was going to come in at one point. Okay. Coming in with the feels. It's very loud. I think it's just loud in my headphones. So, this is um, high status. That's correct. Yeah. That's the one, Gooder. Yep, this is the one. This would be a good set opener, wouldn't it? Ooh. Hello. Yeah. Blimey. <laughs> Oh, this is great. Epic. Epic. Oh, okay. Really nice variation there. This sounds like something Inside Info would do. And that, like, comparisons really don't get that much higher in this side of the drummer bass, like. Yeah. I wonder what you're gonna do with this high status, like, labels, labels. I hope there's loads of labels lurking or watching. And then they go and sign people off this. And these people go on to have great careers. It all started here. Or well, it didn't start here, it started when you learned how to produce. It's not fashion over. Going round in your head, it keeps you up at night. Distant voices telling you it's wrong. Look the other way, don't fall for what they say. Hey! Bit of drum step vibes there. Yeah, all kinds of emojis rattling around in the chat now. This is exceptional, downloading this one. It's not even the type of kind of tune that I would play, but it's nice to have on my USB, because then if I find myself in a, a bigger situation, a bigger arena, a bigger crowd than I would normally see, this is the type of shit that you'd feed them, isn't it? Before taking them down a rabbit hole, hit them with the feels. I was quite aggressive then, right? Like a one inch punch. I'm not an aggressive guy. No, not anymore anyway. Yeah. 
Ooh. Hey. It's hard liquid again. We're back in the freezer. Cool, blimey, governor. Uh, high status, Marge, really feeling that. That that sounds completely finished. That's that's signable. That's massive. That's the type of tune. Kind of reminds me of Delirium Silence in a way as well. I know Benny did a remix of that relatively recently. Um, yeah, that, wow, that, that was brilliant. Go on, cool. So we've got something from Neon Pumps that's in my inbox. There's a couple of things that are in my inbox. We're going to go on this one, Master Rat. Now, again, oh, this is... Yeah, I think, yeah, bloody Google Drive again, isn't it? Um, right, now, Master Rat, they're from Wales, and they're uh, from Wrexham, and I, her name is Maya. Um, yeah, and they've got, like, a Wob Wob 40 um, night, so basically Welsh dubstep, Welsh talent. I have a Welsh music podcast. I haven't really updated it very much recently because it was taking up too much of my life and too much of my time, and I was spending way too much money on the music, um, and it wasn't kind of, it was taking up too much of my time. But I will bring it back. There's loads of great music coming from Wales, and this is Master Rats. Here we go. So we don't know when this will kick in because Google Drive, Google Drive is as Google Drive does. But when it does, I'll just keep on talking. Quite used to doing this now, like sun and bass. I was waiting for people to load up their tunes, and the amount of crap I talked about. Here we go. I don't have to say any more crap. Here we go. So, yeah, this is Master Rat launch code. I'm good to say they had no followers. Who's that? Had that? Is that high status? Have they got no followers? If I put the right thing in, I'm definitely going to follow them. Okay, the Wob40. There was another Wob40 account as well. I want a bit more impact on those drums, but I really, really like this drama. She's got that right, definitely. End of the world. There's another SoundCloud account there. Right, Wob40 events. Okay, so it's quite possibly that. Someone said um, Massive Attack. They said that the last trap made them feel like Massive Attack. I can't remember who in the chat. Those kind of rim shotty dubby drums make me feel like Massive Attack. Yeah. This is like. drums there that I can't quite feel like I need a little bit more on those drums again need that impact need that wallet but in terms of setting the mood in terms of a vibe like I turn it down 
it's probably way too quiet for you guys now, but I can actually hear myself a little bit. In terms of a mood, like that is really tense. That's if you want to start your set with like a, I'm coming in, I'm going to chop your heads off. This is the type of kind of vibe you want to come in with, like just slow and sludgy and Right, so um, what we've got here, like Sonic saying, where everything is so massive and atmospheric, stripping back the drums for a drop can actually make everything else pop. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perhaps that's it then. I think like stripping back and that kind of case of selective, is it reductive EQing, I believe, or just reductive? I'm just taking away some elements and stuff. But yeah, I mean, I, I am a vibe man, and that is a vibe. It's also from Wales, just for added sickness. Okay, cool. So who have we got? I was going to do the neon pumps one. Um, there's a couple here, right? Ah, here we go. Right, we're going to go for Elk. Um, this man is definitely known to me. He is very, very talented. He wrote for UKF while I was editing it. Um, he makes great tunes. I do actually play some of his tunes. Um, and my favourite thing about Elk is that he stayed at the front when I had my very first comeback gig at Boomtown for Dub Tendo a couple of years ago. Him and his mates, like it was hot as fuck in that tent and so many DJs had absolutely killed it before. A lot of people went out and took a breather. I didn't blame them. Him and his mates stayed there right at the front and said all sorts of appreciative things. And that's my last memory of Elk. He's a very, very nice guy. So here we go. It's called Not What You Didn't. Hey! Was not expecting house. He makes drum and bass as well. Cool. All right. I hope I'm already following you. Yes, I am. Cool. So it's interesting, like, the whole dynamics of house music is very, very different to 140. Drums feel a little slim. I love that chopped up vocal though. Okay, that's nice, that's nice. I'm not entirely sold on the vocal, and I'm, I'm gonna bet that's from a sample library of sorts, maybe Splice. It has that kind of feel to it, it feels quite plasticky. It feels a little commercial, and it doesn't kind of feel part of the track. Now, I'm really sorry, Alk, but that's really nice. I want to hear a dub of this. I want to hear a dub version without the vocals. Strip this motherfucker right back. Yeah. There's a track by Claude Von Stroke called Orndi. It's about 12 years old, I think. Maybe 13, 14 years old. With those type of really nice kind of... It's drummer bass liquid liquid style kind of subs and pads with house that's nice kind of dreamy this is this is very pleasant i really like house music i listen to a lot of house music i play a lot of house music but i like it to slap I like that kind of more like Chicago style jacking bump. Ivy's into the electro bleeps. Thank you. 
Oh, it's called Ghetto House now. Okay, big up T-Pro. Of course, you're in the US. I love it. You know, and also the kind of footworky stuff. Derek Carter and DJ Sneak are my favorite all-time house DJs. Also people like Justin Martin. Yeah. There's something a little slim about this. I want to I want to hear it fattened. I want this tune to go to the gym and tonk the hell up. I want to see it doing loads of weights. No cutting corners and doing steroids or anything. Fucking go in there, do your training and get get big. Get big. That sounds a little bit too slim. Maybe it's like a compressed version on SoundCloud. They said this the vocal wasn't quite for me. Um, it's a wicked track. Like you could see loads of people going off to that. It's quite, it's it's nice. It's it's quite mainstream, and maybe that's the vibe that you were going for there. But I I want to see a beefier version of that, a dubbed out version of that. And um, Scott, please get me um, correct me if I'm wrong. You know that vocal might be by a friend or something like that. But if it was, then credit them. But um, yeah, it was something about that vocal I wasn't too sure about. Still sounding wicked though. Okay, right. So I need to download a couple of tracks, and in the meantime, we're going to go onto this one. This is then to see. Um, here we go. Then to see. All oh, right. Okay. So they they sent me three or four tracks, and I actually chose the track on this one. Um, it's called Shifty. Um, because we all know Shifty people. We've all done Shifty things. Well, some of us have anyway. Um, this is then to see. Then to see. I'll tell you where they're from now. Oh, it's dubstep as well. Also, <laughs> Stubdep. <laughs> cool. Nice little remix there. Um, where are they from? Ooh. Nice kind of cosmic noises. Here we go. Are they from Bristol? Okay, cool. Right. Got quite a bit of a following as well there. Let's give you a follow. Here we go. So. Oh, now this is a pre-master, so let me turn this up a little bit. Let me turn this up here for you as well. Can you all hear that okay? Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of got an old school kind of bounce to it. Cheeky. I like that kind of theremin-y sound, yeah. Can I turn this up anymore? I can, yeah. Does that sound a little bit better? Yeah, system music, without a doubt. White peach kind of vibe as well. Yeah. I like that bit in particular. <laughs> yeah, this side of the bass line. Very, very squelchy. It was a tune called Township Funk about 12 years ago, something like that, with that kind of theremin sound. I would play a master version of this, 100%. Wubs all over the shop. Wubdiful. That didn't work. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, this is the type of proper heads down, absolute skanker. <laughs> Am I getting a no, Dave? <laughs> no dentacy. So big up dentacy. Let me download a couple of those tracks which I haven't checked out yet. So some neon pumps. <laughs> Yeah. 
Ooh. Okay. Ah, got this. Yes. Um, yes, we will. I'm going to upload this onto YouTube pretty much straight after. Um, this is over, really. Definitely. I haven't got it restreaming onto YouTube, but yeah, no, you will. And I will send you the link as well to the file so you can watch it in your own time as well. Um, I said good things. Very good things, actually. Um, right. So you've got some choices to make now. Yeah, I, I am definitely recording. I had to check then, but we we set that thing, didn't we? So, right, choices, choices, choices. Would you like to hear a tune called Bring Me Back, or would you like to hear a tune called Neon, um, no, called Gallop? Gallop or Bring Me Back? Whoever answers that question. I quite like the idea of Gallop. Yeah, Gallop. No horsing around, etc., etc. Um, so let's, right, let me download this. Oh, it's not downloaded, it's bloody Google Drive. Uh, uh. I was on Google Drive for a long time until I ran out of memory and then I paid for more memory and I've run out of that, so now I'm on Dropbox and now I've just got loads of stuff and I don't know where the fuck it is. <laughs> but like where I am now. Right, here we go. So we've got Neon Pumps, this is Gallop. Um, Way okay. Let's turn that down a little bit. Is that okay sound wise? It seems incredibly loud for me. So I'm gonna go down there like that, but then turn that up. Is that better? Oh. See, this is more the kind of the chunkiness that I'd want from house. Where's this going? I am a sucker for funky house. This is sounding really good though. This is the type of stuff I play on a warm up set. Play a lot of house music. DJ Gregory is one of my favorites as well. Literally having a mix of some house tunes before I come on this. Um, I was pumping them all up to 150. I mean, 150 is, uh, <laughs> oh, is there a horse in the house? Um, 150 is a really underrated tempo. You can go down to dubstep and up to 160, 170 really quickly. Oh. <laughs> okay. The <laughs> whole silver, isn't it? I really want to make a joke, like, hold out, this might be the new theme tune to Neighbours. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm just making these jokes up on the hoof. <laughs> Nay, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> this is interesting so i think let's turn that down a little bit there's a little bit of messiness with where those percussive elements land so they're, they're not quite if you were i can imagine mixing this they would get in the way of other percussive elements on the other track that you're mixing in the horse noise brilliant I'm going to take that as a political and social statement about the amount of ketamine that's being used and abused in clubland right now and really killing the vibe. No offence to K-heads, just do it on your own in your room, like, with your mates in, the, in your room, not in the club. Do what you like, right? And this arpeggio is lovely, like, this arpeggio. Very reminiscent of kind of hooch tunes. Um, perfecto and stuff like that, kind of... 98, 99, 2000 type of era. Really interesting. 
really, really interesting. But I do think, yeah, there's, I think we need a little bit more clarity amongst the elements. I think there's too many drum sounds in there. The, the horse sound is great. I love a bit of humor in there and it works. Um, I was expecting something with it. By the name Gallop, I was kind of thinking that it would have like, you know, proper horsepower and stuff. I was not expecting house music there. That was wicked though. That was nice. But yeah, I think ease back on the percussive elements. So look at where things are sitting there a little bit. Um, right, so we've done that. Okay, we are going to go on to, we've got half an hour now. Um, so I, I will, I am going to do that thing where if you are in the chat and you've been here pretty much since the start and you've been here, then please let me know um, because I will play one of your tunes. I think if you come into the chat and you've been supporting and you've been contributing in the chat, I can bump you forward. There are lots of things. But in the meantime, let's let's bring out um, a bit of a, a bit of a kind of new generation legend, really. It's Goozy. So <laughs> Goozy just sent me a demo. He said, I just saw you asking for demos. I didn't really know what it was for. So this is Goozy now, head of GZ Audio, GZ Audio. I'm pretending I'm American now, geez. Um, so, all right, okay. Sonnet has got to shoot in five minutes. We actually played one of your tunes last week. And Damage Man, I'm going to play one of yours because it's um, something really different. Go on then, Sonnet, and then we'll listen to Goozy as well. So Sonnet, obviously we really liked this track last time as well. Um, and I talked about there is going to be some type of Sonnet release on One More Thing at some point in the future. So here we go. It's called Bye Bye, and he's got to go in five minutes. So there we go. Let's have a little buzz on this. Oh, right. I've turned down the volume. Here we are. So this is Sonnet now. The first person, as I believe, to have a second play on the demo drop. I am going to try and listen to absolutely everything that is sent going to streamline the application process and the submission process a little bit as we develop this. Emotional. You can feel this building up. Hey, bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. Cute, cute, yeah, oh yeah, Bye. yeah, this is great, it's got a lovely bounce to it, are these enjoying the clear cleanliness, oh hello Miss Lund, bye bye, <laughs> bye bye, This would be a great way to end the set. Bye. Yeah, I'm downloading this. Never know when a tune like this is going to come in handy. What I really like are those kind of reflective sounds going in the background of the kind of main springy riff, like those little extra textures. Yeah, so Hash is saying happy but gully. Fallen State saying that the sample is sick. It's great. It's probably from a game. It's got to be from a game. I'm getting like wee vibes from this. So. Uh, Missland. No, I've not played your tune yet. You're not late to the party. <laughs> wee vibes. <laughs> Say hey, bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> I think this is what's called a switch up. Oi, 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 oi. Okay. I'm having this. I'm having this. I would very much like. I think we're starting to develop an EP here. Live. Live A&Ring. I would really, really like this. <laughs> Go on. Good is going to ban Sonic. Yeah. Quite a few really is going around the chat right now. Exceptional. Exceptional. Oh yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. 
bye bye um, bye bye to Sonnet if you said you had to go um, in five minutes. Maybe you just lying so we could play your tune. But um, wow, blimey, etc. That was great. Really, really, really great there. So give Sonnet a follow if you're not already. Um, it's the first person to be played two weeks in a row. Um, and now we will. We're going to play that Goozy track now. Um, so let me close. I need to close. I'm really, really bad for having like loads of browser windows open. And then wondering why things don't run on time and things are slow and stalling. So here we go, Goozy Atmosphere. But fear is in fear is in scared. So I have no doubt that this is gonna take our heads off because this is Goozy. You can already feel it like. Goosey made a, a little documentary with him last year, last summer, um, all about his album and the Goldstone area that he lives in Hove. It's criminally underwatched, like a lot of things that I put up, but we're building up the numbers, we're building up the community. I'm not here for the mega views, I'm here because I've got something to say. So if you want to know more about Goosey, check that out. Atmosphere. So lots of love for Goozy there and GZ Audio. Ivy has been on that as well. Miss Land saying that's wicked, that's proper vibes. That's right for me, like there's quite a, a bit of anxiety in that as well. That's the type of vibe that I have when I'm looking for something that I literally had in my hand and I've completely fucking lost, and without it, I can't proceed with my day. That's the type of sound <laughs> or feeling that that type of tune. In, in, encourages in me, triggers in me. Um, and I mean that in a kind of good way. Like I'm just so used to being on edge. Um, but no, that's great. Uh, really epic. And somebody mentioned the Atmosphere board game. Like That was fucking wicked years ago. Okay, cool. So there we go. Like We've got people like Goozy sending in demos, which I think is amazing. Um, we've done Neon Pumps. Now, right, we're going to go for Al Hox now. And this is on my desktop. Where the fuck is it going to be on my desktop? Um, it's a good job I tidied up my desktop. Where are we? Here we go, Al Hox. Right, okay. So this is called In My Life. 
There we are. Um, no, I'm bringing up the wrong thing. Cool. There we go. So big up, big up, Goozy. And there's, that, there's lots of love, lots of appreciation for that. So this is Al Hox now. I think it's called Al Hox. This is, um, where are they from? Latvia, maybe? Albania. So let me just turn this down a tiny bit, I think. Was oh, it all right? Can you hear? Do you what? Yeah. That's better. Uh, the name on this one is called In My Life. Can you all hear me okay over the tune as well? I've turned down the volume on my um thing. Thing. <laughs> I forgot what it's called. The stuff that the sound goes into and out of in order for my laptop to be able to process it. Audio driver, audio thing. Yeah, this is nice, super smooth. Sound card, that'll do. Audio interface. It's been a long day. I'm off to see Moby tomorrow. So I'm very excited about it. Ooh, yeah. So I'll turn it up now. <laughs> yeah. I think that extra bit of bass line as well. Very well executed. <laughs> Don't try and troll me, D-Pro. I know Moby, he's like, I think he was officially the world's first vegan or something like that. He's more famous for that. But I, I, I got a lot of respect for vegetarians and vegans. I was a veggie for a very, very long time. But um, my partner got me back into like eating meat and stuff. Might sneak some chicken in though. Yeah, this is nice. You kind of imagine it. Maybe on like an LSB kind of space, um, space age type of mix. I'm not entirely sure about the vocal, but might know by now that I'm not the biggest of vocal people. Right, Fallen State is asking where they can get this great track. So this is all, all of this, all of this is unsigned at the moment um, but yeah Al Hox DMB is the SoundCloud which um, Gooda just posted earlier on those bits of bass I'm really into those bits of bass I'll tell you this reminds me of and that's Penny Giles Stuart, Wales based but Scottish, criminally underrated, and left, I like, he's not particularly active because he got very cynical and jaded about the scene, totally understandably as well. Too many artists not getting paid, too many artists not getting the support that they should have, which is hopefully what I can try and do with one more thing. Certainly the intention. So yeah, it seems like a lot of the chat definitely want in my life in their life is there a volume I can turn down on here I'm just going to stop that there because it's only got 17 seconds left that's that's like a very very well executed well articulated piece of deep and soulful kind of drum and bass I like the rolling pianos on that um, maybe I like, I like my liquid a little bit kind of heavier and dirtier so where else are we going to go now is there anybody else yeah Miss Lend I've seen you I know that you are in the chat and 
Um, we have we have had previous before. So let me go on to this one. This one is called Don't Let Go. Ah, and Fallen State Music as well. We got Fallen State Music. Is there? For, yes, there is. Right, okay. So we're going to have Miss Lund and Fallen State. I also want to play a new tune from Replete. Because if you remember on the last demo one, we had Shoe Lady, which was an absolute heater. Um, it was very much an unfinished project. And we all loved it. And I used it in the promo then. Um, but that was actually his least favorite out of all of the demos that he sent. So I'm going to play a Replete tune as well before we sign out. Because we, we are, we've got 10 minutes. I might go a little bit over. Uh, I'm going to try and keep it time sensitive. Right, so we're going to go Miss Land first. Here we go. It's called Don't Let Go. Okay, that was dirtier than I was expecting from the intro. That's great. Yeah. A little bit of confusion between the bass and the kicks here. Are the kicks a bit too wide and fat? Is a different drum needed? Okay, master by Nerve. Shouts to Nerve, like what a guy. That's nice. There's a lot of cleanliness there. I think it's got the wrong type of kicks. Like producers, correct me if I'm wrong here. There's a little bit too much kind of chunkiness. This is great. I'm not altogether sure on the vocal. Again, like this is all incredibly personal. There's, a, there's appreciation for this. Yeah. I my favourite bit of that track is the kind of trancey synths that ding 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 ding. They sounded great. Um, I like the way that the bass line came in. I think there's something up with the drums that I'm not entirely sure about there, um, but I think that's great. So Misland is it my is it like Island but with an M? So Myland or is it Misland? Uh, Misland. I've actually released a tune of his called Minimal Sky on the very first compilation that One More Thing put out, which was a massive free download compilation. Um, in Christmas 2022. Um, so yeah, we've had previous. It's from Budapest. That's a great tune. Uh, is it? I'm pronouncing it right, so it's Missland. There we go. But no, fantastic stuff. Now we are on to Fallen State. I've done this in such a clunky order now. It's going to be really fucking tricky uh, <laughs> for me to put the track list up when I'm doing this on YouTube. That's a problem for Future Dave. And we all know Future Dave is an asshole. Present Dave is going to press play on Fallen State. If he can click the links quick enough. Here we go. So this is Fallen State. It's been in the chat all the time throughout this demo drop. So big up Fallen State. And here we go. 
It's called What You've Done, which is very reminiscent of the EP title, the Scar Tips EP, that we're releasing next week. What Have You Done EP. And like this, there's no question mark at the end. This is what you've done. Very accusing. Nah, Depro past Dave is an absolute asshole. Future Dave is as well. The only Dave that counts is no Dave right here. Again, talking about himself in the third person, that's an absolute chump. This vocal, I've heard this vocal before, this is from Splice. Let's turn it up a bit. And big up, Miss Lind. Hey, I, I feel it's great that I've started the stream as well. I'm really happy with this. And thank you all. Thank you every single person who's involved in this. Got no idea what the numbers are, but there's people in the chat, people contributing music. Where's this vocal? Fallen state. This is really nice. I really like those kind of do 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 bits. I've heard this vocal on a couple of tracks. I would say be very, very careful to anybody using big vocals from Splice at the moment. To tune, tune the Atmos is dropping this week. Um, and it's got a vocal that annoys me. I love it, like Atmos, I'm really loving his froggy sounds. But it's um, a vocal about girls and the boys and the boys in the backseat. And I've heard it on about 20 tunes now, and it boils my piss. Sorry to say words like that over such a beautiful track here. Oh, Ivy's like in the snare. This is lovely though. Let's take out the vocal. Yeah, nice gentle lilt. Type of moment where you might look across at your pals and think, I fucking love my crew. And then another thought comes in, I wonder what I'm having for dinner tomorrow. And then another thought comes in, I wonder how much food I can actually buy for dinner tomorrow. This is the inside of my brain when I'm on a dance floor. This is lovely. As you're right, this bit, the vocal really works there. Then I should just stop hating on splice vocals. This is lovely, really, really nice. Everything sitting in the right place. The instrument, the instrumentation on this is great. The way they're kind of talking to each other in a way. Very gentle. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. I'm gonna give you a follow, fall in state. This is um, Fallen States from the UK, from Peterborough. Never been to Peterborough, never been to that side of the UK. Grimsby and all of that type of stuff. Never even been to Norwich. Been to Kuala Lumpur and mad places like that. Never been to Norwich. It's probably for the best. <laughs> In terms of its execution, this is lovely, this is gentle, dreamy. I wonder what type of kind of club action music like this can get. And this is this is a conversation I was having a lot of sun and bass, seeing a lot of really deep, beautiful music getting played to big packed dance floors and not one person leaving, not one person going off for a ciggy, not one person checking their phone. Deep music needs to be appreciated on the dance floor a lot more because that's where you really feel it. And um, I can't remember who it was. There was a really kind of famous post. I say famous, tongue in cheek a little bit there, really. Um, in terms of like, you know, I can't remember who made the post. They were, But they were saying like, you know, when you look at like rock music, Coldplay or something like that, like the, 
the lighter end of the rock spectrum gets a huge crowd. So why doesn't the lighter end, like even hybrid mines, like they, they do play to bigger kind of places, but when they play, they play a lot of jump up and stuff like that because they come from jump up and they play all types of stuff. So I would love to see music like that really play through big speakers. Um, it's definitely something that you would kind of have on a mix or have on a game there. Um, drop the vocal low and drop all like obvious vocals or obvious vocals for a reason, I think. So I've got one more tune. Who are we going to... No, maybe I'm going to play two or three more tunes. Like, who knows? I, I never keep the time. It's uh, a <laughs> compulsion to not keep the time. I don't know. Um, but yeah, yeah. Analog Future saying the same as well. So big up Fallen State. Thank you very much for getting involved as well. And yeah, it does really feel like there's a little bit of community building here. This is going to be every two weeks, I think. Um, I'm going to keep on. I'm going to put a section on the website for people to get in touch and send their demos and stuff. Um, and yeah, like I'm definitely, I'm going to sign that Sonic tune, like that bye-bye one. Uh, right, so we've got Replete. Now, we played Shoe Lady last time. Uh, we went on the novelty factor with the title. This was the one that I didn't want to because, it, <laughs> um, again, I thought this was novelty. It's called Pom Pom. <laughs> um, so here we go. This is Replete, uh, the second person to be played two weeks in a row or two shows in a row. <laughs> go on, bigger. Thank you for all in state. I'm glad to hear you'll be back. This is really loud. I don't care about that. And I forgot to say, like, I've released music by Replete. He did a wicked VIP um, for Grand Theft Audio. They do an EP for me every oh, Halloween. Oh, my night. <laughs> I need to stop talking over sources. So the word vocals. Got a good feeling about this. I can see in your eyes like a boom 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 white. Definitely, hello. Oi, oi. Yeah. Everybody's buzzing in the chat to this one. Core blimey, etc. Oh, this is so nice. Ah, there's no download, repeat. I want to download. Yeah. Maybe climb and. Great, absolutely great. There's a lot of energy, a lot of weird noises. Did I not sing it nice? I think that's an Ali G um, sample, isn't it? <laughs> Good just calling it moist. is saying this would distract Steven, Steven Seagal from Dapunani. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah. 
I mean, in comparison to Shoe Lady last week, like Shoe Lady was really rough around the edges. And actually, the Shoe Lady sample came from a live streets recording, Mike Skinner. Um, this is great. I kind of like to hear what the lady is saying as well, in a way. Like, it's strange when you hear these kind of vocals, and they're, they're more like textures than they are kind of messages and stuff in a way like it's something to kind of fill there and I don't know then whether it's like am I supposed to hear what this is saying and then I kind of get myself torn up in like what am I listening to here instead of actually just listening to a track and vibing out uh, Replete is a really 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 talented producer um, that was fantastic in comparison to Shoe Lady I mean that's a finished track pretty much there I would say uh, like I said, like, I'm not altogether sure about the vocal samples in there. I don't think they actually add. There's obviously a comedy element, a humour element in there and stuff. Uh, I, I'm always really, really uh, sensitive or just aware of kind of misogynist connotations or anything like that. Um, and I'm not too sure. I mean, I, I personally, if I was an artist, I wouldn't name a track Pum Pum. Um, like I wouldn't name a track Penis or Vagina or anything like that as well. But maybe I'm just showing my age and stuff there. Like it did make me kind of chortle. Um, but yeah, that's a fucking banging track, if you'll pardon my French. So we are going to, I can see Damage Man. Damage Man's been in the track a lot. Damage Man was also on the last one. But this is a really interesting one because it is a different project. Damage Man is known for that kind of really like kind of rotund, heavy hitting functional and I mean that in the best possible way proper dance floor tunage with um, DMB jump up elements and inspiration but this is bass supplies and this is damage man on a bass house tip this might well be my last one because I did say I was going to finish six minutes ago and here I am and I do need to go for my tea and stuff like that um, and help out with cooking tea and stuff so this might be my last one you might be able to squeeze me or twist my arm if you've been in the chat now and played your tune I might be able to play one more tune after this who knows in the meantime this is damage man on a bass house tip <laughs> Kind of 303 type of vibe. You never loved me. Yep, it's a different alias. It's Damage Man under the name Base Supplies. So this is his Base House alias. So how many tunes have we actually played today? One. Talking about um, that kind of chunky house vibe. Is there a bit too much high end on this? I know what you mean, Midland. Definitely a different vibe from drum and bass to house. This bit, I really, really like this bit here. I think it might be just a tiny bit too high endy on the hi hats and that top end. But that kind of jack of it, and I love these kind of sounds that you might have got from like high states of consciousness. Ivy's talking about pitching the vocal up when semitone or down. A 
of a kind of passive aggressive whine in the vocal. And, you never loved me. I love everyone. this last time I played a Dunk tune last time um, under Dunk's new bass house alias no I, th- I think you're right I think there is a slight there's a slight jarring it's not quite in key that vocal it's probably from a vocal sample supplier I play a lot of house music I would definitely, if I was playing an extended set and I was playing a good hour of house. Again, I I don't think the vocal is necessary. I don't think the vocal is necessary on this site. I mean, but maybe I could be wrong. I mean, maybe I would like to hear a version without and think, what could it do? So, I played 19 tunes. That seems like a really random number to finish on. Let's wrap it up to a cool 20. Um, who else have we got? Hit my tune if you don't want to sleep at night. Analog Future. Oh, man. Okay, so you're not even on the spreadsheet. Like, are we going to go off piste? Yeah, of course we're going to go off piste. Analog Future. Here we go. It's right at the top of my inbox, and you've been in the chat all evening long. Oh, right. And it's called Jungle Warfare. This definitely sounds like a tune to finish off on. So it's Analog Future. It's not even on. It's on. It's 1 minute 17 as well. So it's, um, we will be signed out. I'll do all my talking before. Um, I am going to put your SoundCloud into the chat because good, I can't because I haven't put it in a thing. There we go. So there we go. Analog Future. This is Jungle Warfare. It's going to be me signing out. I'll do a goodbye afterwards though. So. Uh, Let's not rush things, eh? Here we go. Where's my volume? Let's turn this up. Oh. Hello. <laughs> What a tease. So you just come in like you disrupted the whole flow of people. I will play every single demo that's sent to me. We will play on these shows. But I do like it. If people have been in the group um, and contributing to this whole kind of thing. Um, and there's a lot of producers like, you know, I, I'm not a technical man. I'm a vibes man. I go on gut instinct. I go on what I feel. I go on my 20 odd years of experience in this game more like 25, almost 30 years, um, if you go back into like my clubbing history as well. Um, so it's great to have you producers in the chat as well and kind of contributing and stuff like that. It really helps with the community vibe and I'm loving what we're creating here. I'm really loving this kind of vibe. Um, it's excellent. So thank you very much. Yeah, Analog Future, I'm following you now. I will say this, and this conversation I was having with Gooda before and it was something that I said on the previous one. I'm really, really wary of those type of sound boy vocals um, and those samples because they've been used so much. And I know that there's such a fine line between paying homage and then saying something that hasn't, you know, it's already been said. But what I like is the energy in that tune, the fact that there's loads of different things going on. It actually reminded me of a set that I saw last week, which was Outrage Back to Back with Killjoy. Um, and it absolutely sliced my head off. I sewed it back on, though, the following night, or even the following morning. So I get back on with my day and my life. Um, so, yeah, it was very reminiscent of that, and I will be paying attention. Everybody who sent tunes, thank you so much. I'll be sending you the link. Everybody who's just been watching, or anybody who's watching in the future on YouTube when I put it up on that. Big up. Hope you're well. Send us stuff. Demos at one-more-thing.co.uk. We'll be back in two weeks' time, which is, let me just check the date, 
because um, I haven't got a calendar in front of me because I'm not a calendary type of guy. So here we go. It's be the second of October. So we will be doing another demo drop on the second of October. There's going to be a chat next Wednesday with myself and Scar Tip to celebrate the release of the What Have You Done EP um, and lots of other stuff. And yeah, on Friday we'll be streaming a mix myself back to back with Wawa at 12 o'clock UK time. In the meantime. Thank you very much. Thank you, Gooder, for moderating the chat and everything. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Depro. Thank you, Hash. Thank you, Sonnet. Thank you, all of the people who've been in. Thank you, Fallen State Music. And please do send over stuff. Yep, send over. Um, no, you're talking to Gooder there, so I'll let you have that conversation and I will sign out. Thank you very much, everybody. Um, this has been absolutely amazing. I'm really, really enjoying this. Um, yeah, so <laughs> the future of music is in very safe hands with all of you. Now. Thank you. Keep spreading the word. Don't stop.